In this video, let's see an example of regression discontinuity in Python. Let's see the chapter 4 of Master Metrics. This table is the sharp regression discontinuity estimates of the minimum legal drink age effects on mortality. The dependent variable is all deaths, the mortality rate. And the sample is American with age 19 to 22 years old. The fact that you are legally allowed to drink alcohol after 21 years old, this kill 7.6 more Americans per 100,000 people. 7.6 is this green dash vertical line. Let's open the data set that's from the book Mastering Metrics and put it in data frame DF. And here is the data. This is the age see that 19 years old and here is the all mortality rate now let's create the variable group if the age is above 21 years it's a treatment group if the age is below 21 it's a control group let's create the variable age that is age cell minus 21 because we want to normalize this helps with the interpretation now let's import the stat models formula api Let's define the regression discontinuity model. All is the y, the mortality rate. One is the intercept. C group is a categorical variable. That's why it's the C. And the age is the running variable that determines the treatment and control group. We are going to run ordinary square for the whole sample. And the standard errors robust to heterostasticity. And here is the result. See that you get the coefficient 7.66. Even though we declare treatment and control as a string, the computer automatically assign here treatment equal 1 and control group equal 0. That means this is the impact of being over 20 years old on death rates. See that age is not statistically significant and this does matter. If you drop age, this is a huge mistake. Age in the regression guarantees that the treatment variable is not correlated with the error term. Age make this a causal and the unbiased estimation. People who has a mechanical view of the technique and think that if the variable is not statistically significant, you should drop it, they don't have any idea what they are doing. Now, let's return to the table. See this result here, 9.55. The difference that this model here control for age square and interaction between age and the over 21. Let's run this specification here. We add the interaction between age and the treatment variable and the interaction between age square and the treatment variable. And the, let's see the result. See that the, we replicate the 9.54 if the same standard error, 1.83. Note that when you indicate the interaction it's not only the interaction that is added here in the regression, but the single variable age and the, the categorical group. See that when you indicate age square times the categorical variable group, Python add automatically the interaction and the age square. And the, what is the logic of add interaction and quadratic terms? In ordinary square, you are forcing the data to fit to the line. If you want to give you more flexibility for different functional forms, you can add the quadratic and interactions. Remember, a line is just a special case of a polynomial. Be free to put a polynomial here. The point is, a line is just easier to interpret. If you know non-parametric regression, kernel regression, you can use. In the end of the day, you care about this distance here and not about the interpretation of this range here. The green vertical line is the ordinary square without any interaction or a quadratic term. See that for non-parametric estimation, the impact will be even higher by this distance here. We replicate the results of all deaths. Now, let's replicate the moral vehicle accidents. This result here, 5.89. We needed to restrict the sample to age above 20 years and below 22 years. See here, age 20 to 21. The dependent variable now 
is the mortality for car accident. And this part we saw before is the same. And the, this is the result. We get the 5.89. Your intuition should be that these two results here are more credible than these two results here. And why? Because in a narrow window, it's more likely that control and treatment group are equal compared to a wide window. But there is a trade-off here. If you use less observations, the standard errors will be bigger. See that here, the standard errors are smaller. Should I use non-parametric estimation in this case? Probably not. We don't have much data. See, 48 observations and 24 observations. The consequence is that the standard errors probably will be too big, and then the coefficients would be not statistically significant. All deaths is an aggregate measure. It's nice to decompose this measure. And this is all the possibilities of death. See that the alcohol don't kill people directly. If you drink too much, probably your body will shut down and you might go to the hospital. The problem if you drink alcohol and drive. This explains as well why around 21 years old you have to pay higher premium for car insurance. It is important to see as well that the increase in mortality rate is not driven by suicide, homicide, or cancer, or external cause like guns or swimming pool.